Thanksgiving week 2022. A normal week for Jeffrey Humphrey, his friends, and family. I don't remember what our plans were going into the holiday. You know, I, I, <clears throat> um, I believe I worked that Thanksgiving. Uh, I, I know I worked that Friday, you know, to work Saturday morning, and then everything kind of just became a, a, a weird nightmare. The, the week before was um, utterly uneventful. You've heard the name Samantha Humphrey many times since then. Now I wanna again make it clear, no connection from police that this could be Samantha. Um, they did say that it appeared the body had been in the water for a while. And the signs near Erie Boulevard and Maxon Road are just a short walk from where Samantha was last seen at Riverside Park. One year later, an open investigation into her murder and a father learning to navigate a world without her. The year's been a, a year of <clears throat> becoming something different. You know, when Sam died, uh, all those of us close to her died. So what's in her place are like, um, like from the movie uh, Blade Runner with the robots who have somebody else's memories put in them. I'm, I'm not the person I was before Sam died. I'm, I'm something that's been placed on earth with, with Jeff Humphrey's memories. I can't think about being better. I just think about being somebody else and, and somebody different and somebody with a different job to do. What's that new job? The new job is getting justice for my kid. The new job is, is making sure that the person who murdered her is arrested. While looking for answers, Jeff Humphrey is also keeping her memory alive. We met at Central Park in Schenectady, a place filled with happy memories of Samantha's childhood. The lake is one of the places my son and my daughter learned to fish. You know, when something like this happens to you, you can't not pay attention to it happening to other people around the world and in the news. And a lot of children lose their lives uh, um, before they even get their, their feet off the ground. So I'm thankful, we're all thankful that Sam had some, some time to enjoy life, to enjoy the park, and she did appreciate it. Sam, a teenager who loved doing her hair and makeup and taking selfies. Some of those photos now seen on billboards around the city, put up by the family in hopes of finding a tip to help solve her disappearance. There's two pictures. One is Sam with his pot pink hair mm -hmm. and the, the thick eyeliner. Yep. And the next one right next to it is her bare face, yep. brown hair. Those seem to be the two, I don't want to say juxtaposition, but that, that's the that's, right word. That's who she was. Yep. Tell me about who who is Samantha Humphrey? The real Sam was somebody who wanted everything from life. Uh, she wanted to be you know, somebody who, who people loved and admired. She wanted to do forensic criminal studies. She told me that in maybe the last week or two, which is, is beyond uh, uh, um, chilling. Jeff says in a world without Sam, she's become a guiding light for right and wrong, justice and injustice. For somebody who might see this story or who has, has over the past year seen this, her name in the media, they might think of she's the girl that was found in the Mohawk River. What was she to you? She was everything to me. She's a person who made me a person. I was just some guy running around doing his life, having goofy jobs and goofy hobbies. And then there's this little person who you've got to do your best for. Um, so it, everything changed at that point. It changed my career, it changed my outset, it changed the, the outlook rather. Uh, it changed the way that I thought about things. Now, he's looking for one more change, an arrest and some closure. In Schenectady, Emma Quinn, CBS 6 News.